We want to see Shakur and Zabida. Shakur and Zabida. Oh no. No, 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 no. Shakur and Zabida. Huh? Yes. William Cepeda versus Shakur Stevenson yes. on the same card. Let's do it. Yes. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So today we have a little short video for you, man. You know, um, it was announced. Well, let me say, yeah, it was announced, you know, and it's, it's heavily reported right now that the next fight for Shakur Stevenson will not be William Zapata. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it won't be Lomachenko and it won't be Javante Tank Davis, which we already knew that, right? You know, but it's going to be seemingly Joe Cordina. Like, Who the fuck is that guy? Yes, Joe Cordina, um, he's coming off of his first loss uh, of, of his career, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, a lot of people are going to knock Shakur for this. But if you think about it and you really gather the information and you really analyze the situation, you know, um, you would re recognize that this is not Shakur's doing, man. You know, Big Turk, um, Shakur and Eddie Hearn even and Oscar De La Hoya even. Um agreed verbally on Shakur versus Zapata next. Yeah. But Zapata is for whatever reason and him and his team had decided not to pursue that 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 fight right now you know, uh, at this juncture of his career you know maybe he might have something going on I don't know you know a lot of people say it's a duck but you know needless to say no matter what you want to call it it is undoubtedly disappointing You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see, it seems like we're going to see Shakur Stevenson versus Joe Cordina. Now, me me personally, I don't feel like this is such a bad idea um, because when you consider things, you know, according to the rumors as well, Shakur Stevenson is going to sign with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, you know, for at least a one fight deal. <clears throat> At the minimum, a one fight deal, right? And so, if you think about him fighting Joe Cordina, who's a matchroom fighter, he works with Eddie Horn, Eddie Hearn from the UK, then this fight makes sense, you know what I'm saying? And they're talking about having it on October 12th as an undercard fight on the um, explosive, wonderful card that won't. Well, wonderful fight that we anticipated the most anticipated fight for me the fight that i want the most is is uh dimitri bivol versus arthur better be yeah so that card has just been beefed up a little bit by having shakur included going against joe cordina on the undercard potentially for october 12th so i think this is a good thing man at, at the very least uh, uh eddie hearn is doing what we wanted him to do and that's keep shakur active you know he keeps all his fighters active you know the same thing he did for jerome boots and this same thing that's transpiring now you know while, while i'm not saying that we can't be disappointed for shakur versus joe cordina it's not what we wanted but joe Cordina is a capable fighter, and I think this fight is going to be good, man. You know, Joe, Joe, Joe Cordina is going to come to fight. Shakur is still have, is fighting with a trip on his shoulder, so I think this fight is going to be good, man. I'm not disappointed at all, besides the fact that I wanted it to be, well, I anticipated it to be Shakur and Zapata, man, you know. So, from that standpoint, it's a little disappointing, but from from from, from the overall standpoint that, you know, uh, uh, Shakur is not being inactive because Zapata doesn't want to fight him. He's going to fight somewhere else, and, and this is none of his doing. He didn't pick... Joe, Joe Cordina out of out of his uh, pot of options, you know what I'm saying? It was that he was probably the person that's available to fight right now and, and during his schedule in which he's available as well. So it's probably the availability thing and the, and the fact that it's an easy fight to facilitate since Joe Cordina is working with Eddie Hearn already. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. Hopefully in the future, we will get uh, William Zapata, but as of right now, it is not finalized. Once again, it is not finalized. I want to reiterate, it is not finalized, but the reports are heavily leaning towards Shakur signing at least a one fight deal with Eddie Hearn in Matchroom, you know, earn with Hearn. When you start hearing people like that say things like that, that gives me a fucking hard on. And he's going to fight Joe Cordina next in this uh, because uh, William Zapata has, has has bowed out of fighting Shakur, man. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Are you very disappointed? Do you think Zapata's a duck, you know, uh, and go go along with Lomachenko? Or or, or, or do you, are you excited for this fight? You know what I'm saying? Are you happy that Eddie Hearn has pivoted and, and made a fight for Shakur? You know, I, I'm actually the latter. I'm happy that uh, he was able to make a fight for Shakur. So y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.